Hello, welcome to day 13 of 25 Days of Drams. We are over the halfway mark. So, 25 Days of Drams, you must know by now, but we're giving away every dram in this calendar. I've been talking my way through them for the 1st of December, and I'm going to keep going right up until the 25th. And I also want you to fill out our survey so that you can tell us what you'd love to see in the perfect advent calendar so that the dram team can bring it to you next year. Okay, so day 13, and I'm particularly excited about this one. It is from Paul John, it's called Edited, and it is a single malt Indian whiskey. So, if you haven't heard of Paul John, this is what their bottles look like. They have three bottlings in their core range, available throughout the UK, I believe, uh, in Marks and Spencer, very good value or online. That is Brilliant, Edited, and Bold, and that goes from unpeated to strongly peated for bold, an edited to sit to right in the middle, which for me is where Goldilocks would be drinking whiskey. So edited has a very cool story. I'm gonna switch this big bottle now for the, the dram I've got poured over here. Um, so the thing that's fascinating to me about edited, um, Paul John make most of their whiskey with, uh, with barley from the Himalayas, uh, which is close to this dis distillery. The foothills of the Himalayas, more accurately, not at the top where it's too uh, too cold and snowy for anything to grow. Um, but they don't have peat in India. Um, so what they've done with the edited is they've used Scottish peated barley and they've cut it with their normal Indian barley. And that is why it's called edited. It's Indian barley edited with Scottish barley. So the practice of importing barley for the sake of making whiskey is very normal. It happens in Scotland. Not all of the whiskey coming from Scotland is made with Scottish barley. Um, so that's not uncommon. But that peated barley from Scotland has brought it a lovely, lovely warm smokiness to it. It's not overbearing. If you don't like peat, it's not for you. But if you do like peat, it's nice and gentle and it's warming. It's a bit like a Ben Romac 10 or um, a Highland Park, that sort of level of peatedness for me. So that's the first interesting thing about edited and also um, more generally about Paul John. Um, the interesting thing about the whiskey where they make it is that it's very hot and not only is it hot, it's humid. So what this does is like pressure cooking the whiskey. The whiskey matures much faster. You achieve much more flavor and much more color as well. This is naturally colored uh, in the time frame. So most of their core range of whiskies are kind of five, six years old, I believe but they have the flavor profile and the color of a much older scotch, more like something 12 to 15 years, something like that. But this one I get, that lovely warm peat on the nose. It's fruity as well, and more like dried fruits, but with some sort of grassy freshness about it as well. It's a lovely combination of sweet as well as caramel. The fruits are still there and that lovely warming smoky peak coming through. So if you've not heard of Paul John, get out to Marks and Spencer's or wherever else, get yourself a bottle of the edited. It's my favorite from their core range. It's delicious and cheers to day 13.